Hey, just a real quick and easy demonstration of what we got here. There's a little switch on the back here. This is a region switch mod. So this is a uh, Japanese Foxhound GameCube. So the system here is in Japanese. Turn the system off so we don't short anything, damage anything. Flip the switch. Turn it on again. And we've got the system running in English. I'll turn this off just so I can take this shell off. Show you what's going on in here. Here's our switch that runs down to the main board, and in here, just behind this, we have a Pico Boot modification. This is not a um, genuine Raspberry Pi, it's just in here for my model. Um, the GameCube I have next to me is a genuine Raspberry Pi. So I'll just put this down for two seconds. This console out of the way. Plug the other one in. In power. Good to go. Okay. So this console is Pico booted. This is a power console, doesn't need a region switch for a Game Boy player um, attachment on the bottom of this. And as you can see with the uh, serial port 2, um, down here we have a SD card um, reader. In the front of these, uh, there are some GameCube models that don't have the serial port too. Um, they'll take a uh, memory card adapter um, with an SD card. Um, with uh, Swiss, which is running here, you can actually set um, Swiss to save or have a what's called a, um, a virtual memory card. Um, so you don't really lose memory card functionality. If anything, you, you gain more blocks uh, depending on you know the size of your memory card to begin with anyway. So um, so what does Swiss allow you to do? Swiss allows you to copy uh, your existing disks, I guess, um, to the SD card so you can um, back up with uh, this program here, which is called uh, CleanRip. Um, uh, backing up your games uh, that you own personally is um, allowed. It's considered a personal backup. Um, so yeah, anyway, you can, um, I'll, I'll just reboot the console. Uh, so you can back up your games. Um, also with uh, with Swiss, um, I'll just take. Oops, sorry. I have a game in here. I'll take this out. And as you can see down here, I have a EverDrive uh, or a Game Boy Advance uh, game cartridge. There is no Game Boy Player disc in here. And. If you've set up your SD card properly, um, there's another uh, file you can get called um, Game Boy Interface. Uh, there's different versions of the same thing. Um, they're, they're different um, outputs, I guess. Uh, this is uh, high fidelity, I think it is. 
Um, but this completely eradicates the need for the Game Boy Player disc. So you don't need the disc anymore if you own a Game Boy Player. So this is uh, the EverDrive uh, running on the Game Boy Player for the GameCube without a boot disc. So that's the, the mod, I guess, in a nutshell, um, with uh, my install. And um, yeah, that's how it's set up. Uh, I haven't shown you exactly how it's done, but I, I've shown you how it is uh, finally installed. Ta, peace.